Hello, everybody. I'm going to give people a minute to get in here. Then we're going to do our shout out to the sponsor, which I love so much. And then we've got a lot of weird pickles to try and a box full of Kit Kats from Japan, home of the Great Wall. So it's going to be very, very exciting. I haven't done one of these in a while, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Just want to give it a minute until we get 100 people in here, and then we can get started. And won't that be really fun for everyone? I am leaving for Austin on Sunday on a jet plane. You're going to spend a week there. A lot of my crew is in Austin. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited. I treated myself for the first time in my life. I'm 53, and this is the first time in my life. I'm going to get a nice hotel because uh, I'm like, I'm going to waste the money and enjoy myself. It's a week. Let me enjoy like another apartment. So that's what's going to happen um, there. Okay, we got 100 people here. I just want to talk to you about our sponsor which I love the sponsor. This is Sheath Underwear, the Great Wall of Nestle. Of course, yeah, duh. Do you not speak Japanese? All you, all you anime people. So this is Sheath Underwear. They are the best. If you go to sheathunderwear.com and use promo code MALICE20, you get 20% off. What makes Sheath special is that dual pouch for the guys. And you're like, what is this? I'm telling you. The pouch makes this the most comfortable underwear you ever wear. And these are my favorite pair because they're camo. So you can camouflage your tiny genitals. So they become downright invisible. So please look at sheathunderwear.com and you can get into my pants. Just like my parents did. Man, that got creepy really fast. Okay. So I don't know if we should do the Kit Kats or the pickles first. I am, we have a lot. So these are the Kit Kats. Or the Kit's Cat, I guess I should say. If I want to be pedantic, which I hate to do. So there, there's a whole box of them. Damn it. I hope I didn't show my address. I should have thought of that first. God damn it. Well, I guess now you're all going to come and murder me. Um, so these are all the Kit Kats. And then these weird pickles, I got to tell you about them. I'm very skeptical about these pickles. How many Kit Kats fit into the sheath pouch? Well, depends on if they're white chocolate or dark chocolate. Um, so these are, oh, there's a free one. Oh, <laughs> speaking my language, Hebrew. Um, fuck, Mary kill, Ron McDonald, Hamburglar, or Grimace. I think I, I think I'm gonna have to do um, process of elimination, right? Who would be the best to marry? Uh, McDonald would be the best to marry. So then you're fucking the Hamburglar because he's little. Yeah. Um, ooh, peach tea. So uh, for those of you who don't know, we're gonna do the pickles first because I think they're gonna be gross and we can knock that out of the way. There's a lot here to get through, people. So on my locals, malice.locals.com. Uh, I got a lot of fun people there. Like we got like 20,000 people there and people share like weird things that they find because everyone there likes weird stuff. And it's like, if you don't like it, that's cool. You don't have to like the post, but it's just like interesting things that they found. And there's this one place called one stop pickle shops and they have like candy flavored pickles. So one of the, uh, dear readers posted it. I yoinked that idea so fast and I got a bunch of them and let me read you the flavors that we have. Um, have you seen the OSHA violations meme? I have not. Did you read the Time Magazine article yesterday? I've not yet. Um, so this is Texas peach tea. This is lemon drop. This is green apple. Then we have, I don't even remember what I ordered. This is a while ago. Gummy bear, cherry gummy bear. I hate that they sent them these little pouches. I don't like that. Then this is 
Strawberry shortcake pickles. This seems fine. And there's two more. So this one is glorious grape. And this one is Razzy Blue. So we're just going to, and this one is Texas Peach Tea. So we're going to try this for a second. Why do you have a poster of yourself with flying hot dogs on it? Well, why don't you have a poster of yourself with flying hot dogs on it? Dullard. Okay. We're going to do, I don't want this one out in order. Okay, we're just going to grab this one. This is Strawberry Shortcake. It says, shake before opening and refrigerate after opening. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, opened it. This is going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess all over my sheet pants. It smells like, oh, no, oh, God, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. It smells like pickles. Then you get a whiff of that very fake, like little Debbie strawberry shortcake. Uh, no bueno, I think they say. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. This is this. I've made a mistake. So you can see what they look like. Okay, strawberry shortcake pickle. Nothing goes better with pickles than Kit Kats. Oh god, this is so bad. Holy fuck. Oh my god, this is so bad. I don't know why it's so bad. Oh, they're not. Oh, oh god, this is so bad. It tastes like you're eating plastic because of the pickle texture. And then you got the fake strawberry flavor. Oh god, what have I done? And then you got the regular pickle flavor. 20k on locals. Do you mean 2k? No, I've got 20 locals is free to join. And if you pay, you can contribute and read the, the extra content. So we've got 20,000 people who are members of Locals. Thank you for the correction. That was incorrect. Okay. Oh, this is so bad. This is why I didn't link them into the YouTube notes. Okay. This is going to be a long night. Good thing this hits my macros. Okay, Texas Peach Tea have another one thank you i don't i'm assuming is that looks like aztec that was the closest to puke i've seen you on a stream that's saying something well on when ardris march i was close oh that's very nice of you thank you very much okay texas peach tea remember no spitting is that really you i like the eyebrows very 80s in a good way Okay, I guess I should guess whether this is. I think the peach tea is gonna. I don't know, man. This is this is this is a. I've I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. And these are each eight hundred dollars. How do I even open this shit? Okay, good thing I have scissors here. If you're watching a Judo manual labor, we thought we couldn't do it. We kind of really can't. It's no fun if they're all good. That's the case with anything. It's the bad stuff that makes you appreciate the good stuff, right? I can't get this shit open. All right, got to get the big scissors out. These are for cutting puppies' eyes open. Okay, here we go. These smell like regular pickles. They don't. Oh no, there's the peach. Is it, is it, this why do people do that? Why would they do this? What's the difference between the United States and these United States? Well, you should watch um, Political Correct Guide with me and Tom Woods, and you'll know the answer. This is for the AOC Epstein tweet. Continue to give them hell. Not a problem. I give them the truth and they just think it's hell. 
Okay, peach tea. That's what it looks like. It looks normal pickle. Ugh, God, this is so bad. Fuck. Ugh, ugh. Fuck. Because it tricks you. Oh, oh, oh. fuck, what have I done? I mean, there's so much worse than I thought they were going to be. Because it starts with like a regular pickle taste. You don't taste any of it. And then it's that fake like diet peach tea that kicks in. And you're like, where did you come from? Don't worry. I've got plenty of foreskin to spare. Okay. Fuck, I got five more of this shit. All right, we're doing this. Oh, fuck. Good thing this fits my macros. Do you think it's valid for people to mentally explore bad or moral ideologies for the sole purpose of mental exercise? You're speaking to the guy who wrote the book from North Korea's perspective. Yeah, it's very good. How do I open this shit? Oh, there it is. So this is cherry gummy bear. I swear this company's from this this company's dark dark sided. They're trafficking in dark sided stuff. Everything's ungodly. Dark sided. All right, this is what the cherry gummy bear looks like. You can see the pink. It is so bad. Oh my god. It's so bad. Like, it's that cherry Kool-Aid flavor, but, like, then it's the brine of the pickle, and then the texture makes it so plasticky. I can't even describe why it's so bad, because each of those things are fine and of their own. Oh, my God. Do you know anyone who has taken the whole bottle of white pills? I think, like, Mormons? Isn't that a thing with them? They're all, like, like glazed over and happy all the time. Speaking of macros, pickles apparently go great with peanut butter pretzel or so here. Yeah, if you're pregnant... I'm on a cut now. I'm not going to be pregnant no more. Have you read the Unabomber's Manifesto? I have not, but I have been, it been very much recommended to me. Apparently, by all I mean by all accounts, I don't even people who obviously think he's a monster. No one thinks he's dumb. Okay, lemon drop. Maybe sour and and like pickle would go well together. He desperately hoped. Dear Reader is awesome, and I like watching you melt with brains on Twitter. Thank you. I enjoy it. You guys are missing. Most of them aren't midwits. Most of them are dimwits. Or maybe you just like the midwit stuff, which is fine. All right. Hey, kids. You like lemon drops? You like pickles? Well, they go together like nuts and gum. I didn't shake it. I've been shaking these. That's why they're so disgusting. Okay. Lemon drop. Ugh, so gross. What the fuck have I done with my life? You turn in one kid to the Nazis and you have to pay for it for years. Okay, this is the lemon drop. They look normal. They don't look particularly yellow. There's that drop. Oh, fuck. These just keep getting worse. It's like that fake lemon candy, but without the sweetness. And then you've got the the, the disgusting pickle. Because uh, these aren't good pickles, I don't think. They're like that's the plastic stuff where it's like not really kosher pickles, which are far better because you mix it with garlic and all that stuff. Oh, those are really bad. It tastes like um, um, uh, acid reflux. 
Fuck. Okay. Well, maybe this one will be good. Green Apple, Incredible Hulk. That's fine. The things I do for you people. No one has suffered as much as I have today, except for AOC. Garbage. This smells like Jolly Ranchers, which I enjoy. I'm a big Jolly Rancher fan. The hell, the what kind of voodoo is this? That's Korean. I know the bubbles. Fell into a rabbit hole learning Vox Day, who allegedly called Midwit. It's not allegedly. He uh, he called it that, and I gave him credit in the book. Soak, soak pickles in bang and make bang pickles. You know, it's not a crazy idea. Thank you, Mike. Mega Mike. How much would you sell your foreskin on eBay for? I don't know. The high bid. Okay. Green apple. Oh, God. The Kit Kats will be good at least. So this is... They're really green. These are the best ones by far. These are edible. These are actually decent. So the green apple, it's that green Jolly Rancher flavor. It's mild. It goes well with the pickle. These are the best by far. These are actually edible. Saw a documentary for Hunter S. Thompson based on what I saw. McGovern's platform was pretty on point for the time. Do you think that was the case or was that the opinion being colored by Hunter's own bias? I don't know what you mean by on point, but it couldn't have been that on point if it, he lost 49 states. So I don't, I don't know. Um, uh, Rand really was apoplectic about it. She said she meant really sad mukbang, and I have to agree. Well, yeah, it's it's true. Rarely can catch you live. Your enjoyment of life, in spite of the normies and the one-way pill, I appreciate. Well, thank you, Michael. Where are you looking in your picture? It's like, ooh. I'm going to look over there. I don't know if there's a camera. Okay, two more of this torture. Glorious Grape. Let's see which one I should repeat first. Or Raspberry Blue. Blue is always the best, so we're going to go with the grape. Well, this is very nice. Thank you, sir. Are you fixing your tie? I like that. Okay. Oh, God. Thank you, Philip. Hey, it's Philip. Hey, guys. I'm having fun in class. Uh, really appreciate all your work and perspective on things. Well, thank you, Split T. This is going to be bad. Grape. This is the grape. This one I'm... This could be good. He lied himself. It's not as bad as some of the others. It's not good. They just soak it in grape candy. This is stupid. Okay, we got the raspberry left. Did you hear about Ricky Vaughn being arrested? I have. Uh, we, I think we all knew that they were going to start prosecuting memes. I don't think it was a very big prediction on my part. By on point, I mean regarding Vietnam and police authority. He sounded like Ron Paul, who's a loser regardless. Oh, I did not know that. Before Ceausescu and his wife were killed, he, they had a mock execution of the film crew. Did you know about this? I did not. Thank you for that. That's very interesting information. Would you be willing to have Matt Welch back on? 
Sure, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know because they don't want to have me on. So why be reciprocal? He said he was paraphrasing Camille's friends who talk about stupid purple pills. Um, uh, I am having – well, I've got someone on better than Matt. And that, this, Matt would agree that this is better than him. It's not a slide on Matt um, in two weeks who's blue pill. So it will be more of an insightful. I think it's very um, of the of the blue pilled to be disdainful of outgroup jargon. Um, and you can see why they would roll their eyes like, oh, they talk differently than us. But that is, I think they're completely missing the forest for the trees uh, in terms of how ideas spread forward. And in terms of, uh, of it's, a, it's a whole big thing. Black pilled people are telling me New York's done forever. I disagree. How long do you take? I think it'll take for New York to return its former glory. It depends who the next administration is entirely. So we got a year. We'll find out next year. Um, just started, dear reader, with my cousin. I feel like you deserve a royalty, even though I gave my hard copy. Working on you right right now. That is very kind of you. That's very very sweet. Uh, this is the ethos of the internet, which I think most people, including myself, were oblivious to until recently. So that is um, very very cool. And appreciated. Okay. Your message about passing the other day helped me a bunch. I live around Portland, Oregon. Yes. It's, I, I mean, it, yes. I just want to say thanks for your hopefulness. Love pickles, but these sound more scary than the insurrection. Well, y y they are turning my face like the Viking. I avoid talking politics with my dad because it's more enjoyable that way. Simple way to make him take a pause and consider a different way. Why? Do you want to talk to your dad about sex? Maybe you do, but let's say something that's like taboo, like sex. Just consider this to be a topic you guys can't discuss. Really looking forward to your next book. Your positivity is infectious. I have HIV. Likelihood of a round table between you, Woods, Dave Smith, Chris Williams, and Hotep. Well, Chris wouldn't fit in there. Um, that's a really great idea. That's a really great idea. Um, it's actually quite likely. That's a great idea. Thank you. In your last episode with Dave, I enjoyed how fair you guys were to the left and critical of the right, trying to find a way to make that a selling point. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know that people... Okay. Thank you. Okay. Raspberry Blue. And then we can move on to the good stuff. The cats from Japan. I love you, Bezad. My mom would yell at me as a kid when I wanted to eat like cereal or like certain candies because she, in Russian she would yell, "It's just coloring," like it, it um, and it's this. This is the raspberry. It looks much bluer in person than on the camera, I think. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is the worst one. Nope. Nope. The raspberry went away. It was just pickle. No, there it is. It's not the worst one. These are bad. The only one that's good is the apple. So don't order these. Um, looking forward to the next book. Do you have a vague release date? I don't. Are you narrating the audiobook for it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Now let's talk about the Kit Kats or the Kit's Cat. Ah, refreshing. Okay. So my buddy Bezad is one of the guys behind my favorite denim company, Naked and Famous. They don't sponsor anyone. They never pay for advertising. Brandon, who's the head of the company, people call him the Willy Wonka of denim. Their new line is dropping right now. Uh, I can tell you three that I would recommend the most. One of the reasons they call them the Willy Wonka of denim is they're dropping a milk denim. It's made of cotton mixed with milk proteins. It looks normal, but it's just amazing. They have a Fox Selvage, which is the most mainstream one that's a little different that people can pull off it's got a, gr a brown weft the weft is the inside of the jean 
made of a certain kind of cotton. It looks amazing and will age well. The one I like the most, which might be too hipster for most people, is the Cassari Selvage, which it looks like rainfall because the different pieces of denim are dyed differently. Like some are more bluer than others. So it's kind of streaky and it's going to age amazingly. Um, so those are the three that are hitting now. So Bas Bezad's in Japan. He sent me a, a F ton of Kit Kats. And let's look up how many he sent me. Some of these are doubles. You failed me. Okay, we got cheesecake. Well, let me just count them. And then I'll look at them. Well, these are doubles. Mm -hmm. Why would he send me doubles? That's not... Oh, God. This... Oh, there's not that many because it's like um the big ones. Okay, good. It's not that many. Oh, okay. So we've got one. Oh, these look pretty. Okay, it's not that many. It won't take that long. It's not even half an hour. Okay. So we have... The fuck is this? The fuck is this? There's no names on them. It's all in Japanese. What is this? It looks like an... What? I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Why are the fruits, like, exploding? Right, I don't know what that is. Um, my boy and my golden doodle were out for a walk, and I credit you for introduction line. This is my son, and this is my brother, but we raised him as a dog. I didn't remember saying that. What are some white pill moments in the last week? Look at my Twitter. Come on. Come on. You know this. Come on. Um, Damn. Damn, you people are very kind. It gives me legitimate joy to know someone like you can do what you do. I'm behold, there's someone for someone who wage slaves like me and has to keep my mouth shut. Gives me hope. Oh my God. I went full fucking diva. I can't even get into it because I can't remember the last time someone tried to tell me what to do. And I went from zero to 12. Like it was, it was, it was something that should be on world star. Like I was just calm. And then I'm like, I'm going to kill your fucking family. And it, whatever, I can't get into it, but yeah, I am. I can't remember the last time someone tried to tell me what to do, and it's great, and it's thanks to you guys. Um, cheers! <laughs> I like that Norm picture. Okay, so this one is cheesecake. If I can read Japanese correctly, then oh, this is the matcha one, which everyone talks about with lemon, I guess. Yuzu matcha. Oh, yuzu. That's the Japanese grapefruit. Then we have ocean salt. That sounds really interesting. Then we have citrus mint. That sounds horrific. We'll try it. The f oh, chestnut. Is that a chest or hazelnut? It's a hazelnut. Hazelnut. Then we have, this is a double. Okay, that's for my fat friends, which means all of them once this cut is done. Salt lemon. That's going to be fun. Beza did good. Okay, it's another salt lemon. He is a good bro. Another cheesecake. What is this? Ocean salt. Oh, they have different pictures on them. That's cool. Like if you're a kid, I'd be all over this. Another salt lemon. Man, he really wants me to try the salt lemon. Salt lychee. That's really fun. Who's messaging me? I'm doing important work. I'm providing content. Who's this? <laughs> um, if you can't handle me at my Twitter polls, then you deserve me at my mukbang. This is not my worst. Oh, wait, is this my best you're saying? I don't think either of those are me my worst or my best. Okay, then we have this one, which is chocolate orange. That's going to be really fun. That I'm really looking forward to. Then we have this is thing again. I don't know what this is. Salt lychee. This plum thing. Okay, then we have apple pie. So that's kind of cool. And then we have... Cookies and cream ice cream. And then we have... What the fuck?
fuck is this? Is this a soup? Is this a soup? What is this? It looks like a soup. Oh, is it like crouton croutons? It looks fun. It looks like, yeah, it looks like you, you make it into a soup, right? It says there's chicken cubes, onion or garlic, I can't tell, something else, and carrots. Huh. That's really interesting. Much better than those damn pickles. Um, am I caught up? Just got a huge pay raise. Here's your cut. Thank you. Oh, sweet potato. Oh. Okay, that makes sense why it looks like that. Why it's purple on the outside like a yam. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you very much, person from Asia. I appreciate your books and podcasts. I learn a lot and gain much more perspective on this crazy town of American politics. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. I love getting messages like this. Because it makes it so much more fun to watch. And this is the one that's the coolest. Ruby chocolate with cherries and almonds on top. Ruby is a new kind of chocolate. It's a new form of cocoa bean. It's not uh, whatever you think. Uh, just like white chocolate or just like milk chocolate and, and whatever. So it's got a fruitier taste. And they're reproducing them rapidly. Okay, let's try these all. Okay. We're going to just do these randomly. Um, the matcha is the one that everyone's all gay for, so we're going to try that first. Matcha yuzu. Hi, Michael. Hello, Aaron. Looking for the white pill answer to what the boomer con point might be. Also, discovering, I don't know what you mean by the boomer con weak point. I think boomer cons are entirely weak. They've got very little going for them. So I don't engage with them as a rule. Um, uh, it's self-trolling. They have no minds for the most part. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to have to keep track of these for my macros. Okay. Yuzu matcha. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to take half of this. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like a white chocolate and the yuzu really comes out. It's like white chocolate with lemon. I don't know. Um, white chocolate is too rich. It, it doesn't feel uh, like I've had stomach issues when I eat fatty food. I don't, it doesn't sit well. So, um, And then the lychee sea salt one after the matcha, please. Why salt? Well, I'll just do them in order. I'm going to get them all of them. I don't know why I just said it like that. Would you rather have a democracy or monarchy? Monarchy. This is, this is no question. Well, I guess it would depend on the monarch, right? I don't think a monarchy would be easier to top, topple necessarily. I think that's counterintuitive. Okay, we're going to try the cheesecake. Since I'm in New York, a New York cheesecake. Okay. Oh, there it looks cool. So it just looks like white chocolate. This just tastes like white chocolate. I'm getting no. Well, there's a little bit of that um really sour cream, I guess. Well, cream cheese they make it with, so it's got a little bit of that, but it's just like a richer white chocolate. White chocolate's very rich to begin with. Wow, fifty bucks, jeez. I want to publicly thank you for a kind act toward me. Wait, I don't. Uh, what did you do? What I do? <laughs> what did I do to you? I love the latest Modern Wisdom episode. Thanks for being a public face of anarchy. I helps knowing I'm not the crazy one. I'm going to bring this up on, to, on it's a show I'm doing the, in the near future. Caught myself. I, I'm going to just listen. Uh, so, And you'll know what I'm referring to when it happens. Weak point is to – oh, no, 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 no. Do not bring the boomer coins over, cons over. I don't want them. Get them away. They're horrible. No, no, no. Would you go on Twitch? I bet you're good at Call on Duty, Call of Duty. I, I'm an old man. I couldn't handle um, the the like Nintendo 64 because it was 3D. It was too much for my stupid brain to process. Okay, salt lemon. We'll do salt lychee because she chipped in. Salt lychee. Hmm. 
I had a salt lychee drink. It's still in my fridge. It wasn't. It was weird. And I, I, so this is the salt lychee. Whoa. Whoa. That lychee flavor is very heavy. I'm not really getting salt. It's a strong lychee flavor, which doesn't really go well with Kit Kat, in my opinion. I think a lychee would be much better like a hard candy. Well, that's very intense. I'm sh I like it when they actually, it's not subtle. Like a, you can really taste what they're trying to go for. To the guy with the MSNBC dad, I have an NPR dad. Red pilling can be gradual. Understand what he's been trained to believe and dismantle in his terms. Ma Malice's wrestlers ignoring the guy warning about the chair is a good one. Okay. Good advice. Hmm. How does hunting and fishing conservation work under anarchy? Uh, there's many possibilities. Um, been watching all Red Eye episodes. You still keep in touch with uh, John DeVore. I have not talked to him in, in ages, but I adore him. Malice, thanks for positivity and pill distribution. It helped me. Bitch God, sarcasm. Like people get confused between sarcasm and irony. It's such a like um, catcher in the rye. Like oh, everyone's stupid. It's like it's very juvenile in a bad way. Um, and it's like a way to avoid engaging and thinking with things that that you find bothersome. It's it's cynicism, of course, is the devil, as Camus talks about constantly. Okay, next one. We're gonna do citrus mint. I'm regretting this. I'm regretting this. Okay. Oh, this looks weird. Bayzad, what have you done to me? Look at this. What does this look like this? I got no mint. Oh. It's got like a burny sensation. It doesn't taste, it's not like the mint taste. It's just like a sting. And it's just lemon flavored white chocolate with a sting somehow. It's like, ew, that's, ooh, that's real weird. It's like burning your mouth. Oh, that's weird. I don't, you don't taste it at all. Who's texting me? <laughs> Ethan Supley. Okay. Hazel, oh, hold on a second. Um, what is your favorite kind of candy in general? I am a big candy person. Well, Cadbury Cream Eggs. I own the U URL. Uh, I'm big on those. Gobstoppers, the old ones. They don't make them good anymore. I think would be a good answer. Hubba Bubba is a good gum. It's not candy. Uh, I eat gummy candy every day because it's got protein in it. Not sure if you answered this recently. Chances on Eric Weinstein conversation. 100%. I asked my dealer for four white pills and he sent me this. Man, you're really milking that race, aren't you? Do you have any black pill moments in 2020? My biggest black pill moment. If something is bad, that doesn't make it a black pill. Black pill means hopelessness. So I did not have any. No, my biggest black pill, I would say, was how docile the populace was to the lockdowns. That was my biggest, I would call, black pill moment. When you realize, okay, Americans are far more worse gone than you thought. But it's information. Being a lifelong New Yorker is cool and offbeat to do visit that most tourists wouldn't think of. What would you recommend? I did an episode of this a long time ago of your welcome. I don't know what I could recommend now. It's all been destroyed. Like I would recommend Eisenweiss. They're gone. Um, Zenkichi closed, I'm sure, for indoor dining. Um the strand you would know to go. Uh, you know, here's one. This is it's it, this is like for a New Yorker. If you say this is offbeat, they'd think you're you're an idiot. But it's it's something to do the go to Brooklyn and do the promenade and the new um, park that they built um, by Dumbo. There's a lot of stuff there, and it's really kind of a little out of the way. That would really be a little bit offbeat. Did you know you could cook a steak in the dishwasher? What? I did not know that. When is Mulba coming back? I don't know. 
why do you think Ben Shapiro does see the cathedral's lies for when they are when they're, he's clearly very intelligent? Most cathedral operatives are very are somewhat intelligent. Intelligence and critical thinking and all these other things have little to do with it in common. It's a lot easier to convince a smart person to follow the cathedral than a dumb one. 100% of conservation in Colorado was paid for by hunters and fishermen for years. Wow, that was interesting. Thank you for that useful information. Thank you. Okay, let's do one. Hazelnut. I think this is hazelnut. It looks like hazelnut. It's going to taste like Nutella, which I love. Okay, this is what it looks like. Yeah. Although it's white chocolate, it does have those subtle hints of Nutella. But it's too subtle. It should just taste like Nutella. It tastes like white chocolate with hints of Nutella. So that's not good. Okay. Um, have you or will you chat with Prager or James Lindsay? Sure. I haven't, but I would. No question. Were you under? What were your impressions of Ben Bailey when you met him? I tried to push him as much as possible and be as much of an asshole as I could to see if I could get him to snap. And it worked. Uh, at the end, when we had the um, double down, before he started finishing it all, I go, we're taking the money. And he goes, can you just like sit there and pretend that you're thinking about it? And he tried again. So I, I got him to snap. I don't think you guys appreciate how insufferable I am when I am in like some kind of setting where someone needs something from me. I am a absolute holy, holy terror and like jury duty. It's a source of great joy to me how much I can upset people. And I, I'm really horrible. Like they will go home and complain about me. Will you do a Russian language show? No, my language, my Russian is terrible. What was the best thing, worst thing you've done to your siblings entry? Ooh, I think a lot of um, the broken bones was the one. I don't think there was one where I was like, this is really clever. The broken bones were the ones which was like horrible. Um, what effect, if any, do you think a person's moral foundation has on a person's red or blue pilling? I think it's just a function of their interest and capacity of critical thought, uh, which is not at all. What is going on here? <laughs> um okay uh did biden's return or catch and release to the military purity test raise concern at all concern with who enough with me you're given a chance to do prager you video for all the boomers what do i would do it about the soviet union can we get a tool of your apartment hell no are you crazy okay salt lemon What you do should be considered therapy. As someone who took myself too seriously, the worse you are, the better it is for them. Absolutely. And if it doesn't work, you're good. The troll slogan, troll motto, you're going to have fun with me or be fun for me. So I'm fine either way. I would prefer if they kind of enjoyed themselves. But if not, and miserable people are upset, I'm okay with this. Okay, salt lemon. Would you rather have on your welcome Louis J. Gomez or Big J? I had them both. Louis is a lot more fun to talk to because he's such a character. And it's so he knows Big J, everyone loves Big J. But Louis, um, you know, he does his heel persona. It's really, you're, you're not going to sit there and make fun of Big J. He's such a sweet, good hearted dude. Um, but Lewis, you just want to fuck with him and you know, he could hit back really well. He's really smart and funny. So he's really, uh, I, I really enjoy him. Salt lemon. Oh God. Oh my God. Mm. It's very lemony. And then it, the salt does hit you. These are unique. Wow. Okay. It's kind of like a little adventure. I got to tell you. 
these are really oh that's great we got uh four more wait one two three four five more okay the sweet potato Sweet potato. It's hard to describe this taste. I'm sure it tastes like the sweet potato. It doesn't taste like real red chocolate. It's just kind of a blander taste. Time shadow campaign article is the biggest vindication of your view yet, in my humble opinion. I haven't read it. That's what everyone's been saying. Okay, we have ocean salt and then this chocolate orange and then the three big ones and then we're done. I've been thinking about doing a FOIA on you. Would I find anything juicy? Sure. Um, when you finally leave New York, what's the first gun you're gonna buy? Oh, I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna have a big conversation with people who know this. It's gonna be a thing. Hey guys. Any advice on writing or DMing for d and I'll pretend you didn't ask me that. Okay. Ocean salt. This is very kind of they said. None of these are like really like milk chocolate based. I'm surprised. They're all, I guess white chocolate might be a better base to change flavors. Not getting any salt, like very, very, very little salt. Very little. If Tom Woods became president and Dave vice president, would you be the press secretary? Hmm. I'd, 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 I'd seriously consider it. I would seriously consider it. That would be fun. Chocolate orange. This is really good. This is really good. Chocolate orange is a flavor that they've managed to nail for a long time now. You can get these little sticks, which have like their chocolate tubes with like 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 goo and like, not like like liquid inside, and they have like orange and lemon. And when you get the, they're really fun to eat. These are excellent, really excellent. I would. It's like more like orange peel, I guess, but man, it's really really good. Those are the best ones so far. That's really the best ones. Okay, we're gonna do the apple pie, cookies and cream, and then the ruby chocolate. Halloween break. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. Don't mind if I do. How did you and Tom Woods first meet? We met at a rape. Okay. Oh, these are cool. You can write things on them. We got little labels on them for the kids. That's really nice. I like that. Oh, look, little ghosts. Oh, it's purple. Who spooky apple pie? Yep, you get the apple, and you get a little bit of the cinnamon, and there's some sour to it, too. This is really nice, because apple pie is usually a gross flavoring. This is really, really nice. Australian culture is strange, Americanized, and our cathedral loves stagnant atlas-like companies. Your anarchist view in the U.S. is more illuminating on my country than you may think. Oh, that's very useful information. Thank you very much. Wow. Two more. It's not a two more. How upset did you figure Alex was with your anti-cop ramp? It seemed like you were pressing him a lot. I don't think he was upset at all. I think Alex hears a lot of horrible things all the time. 
I think he was interested in maintaining his position. I think he said himself his position used to be closer to mine in the past. I'm sure after what he's been through, he's had certain very positive interactions with the police. Um, I don't think he was upset at all, honestly. Michael's gun should be a 545 AK. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that is. What are your thoughts on Carl Jung? I need to read him. I need to read him, especially vis-a-vis -vis all the stuff with the elves. Myers-Briggs, I'm INTJ. How much for you to narrate Patterns of Anarchy? It's illegal. I would have to get the rights to it. Oh, no. Maybe those are all public domain. Ooh. Marla, if people have time, if, uh, look up whether all those things are public domain. And I'll, oh, my God. What a great idea. I, an audiobook of Patterns of Anarchy. That is such – you're such a smart cookie. You are awesome. Is there an experience you could point to which you felt disappointed by not changing the other's mind? That's a great question. Yeah, I, I, I can't get into it because I don't want to sell the person out. Um, but like people who are like averse to trying new things for no reason, that makes me disappointed in them. What's your favorite guilty pleasure? Um, like eating junk food, I guess. Like, I don't know. You would uh, like, there's, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't really have guilt. I like things. I don't really feel guilt for them, you know? Okay. Two more. It's not a two more. Cookies and cream. Do these have different wrappers too? No, they look the same. Oh, there's a penguin in this one. <laughs> That's cute. Have fun getting diabetes. Well, I will. Thank you. And I'll enjoy every minute. Okay. Oh, this looks weird. Okay, this is the cookies and cream one. Yeah, it tastes like cookies and cream. It's a little rich for my taste, like the, the rich white chocolate. Really want to read one of your books. Which one are you most proud of? I don't... I love all my kids. Which do you recommend for someone on the left? Dear reader, for sure. Single best meme you've seen since the election. Well, there was an old one I put on my Instagram, which is a Kavanaugh's, but it's not since the, the meme is obviously old, but that's the best meme I think I've seen since the election. I haven't seen that many great memes since the election, although uh, my buddy runs Know Your Meme and he'd probably kill me for that. But with New York in its current state, is there any American city that can take up the mantle of our cultural artistic hub? That's the big question. That's the big question. What's the new hotness, right? I don't know. It's going to coalesce somewhere. Have you ever been robbed or jumped? Oh, yeah. In high school? That was a given. That was an absolute given. Like, you'd have to hide your, like, Walkman because there would be kids going through the train looking to shake people down. It was just horrible. And the ruby. Oh, these are individually packaged. Ooh, interesting. I'm going to eat the whole one. Because I'm a fucking rebel. Okay, this is what it looks. Oh, it's so. Oh God, this is so cool. It's got the cherry. No, no, this is the ruby chocolate, but it's got almond on top. Okay. Just tastes a little weird. It tastes something like 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 sour milk. 
it's not really good. I don't really like it. All right. And that was that. It's been an hour. Oh, man, I'm going to have so much fun in Austin. I cannot wait. Um, let me see. We got everything. Take my shithole currency. Just bought Cedar Gin. Good call. Thank you for your arduous march. Thank you, Eliza. How weaker would the corporate press be if the government disappeared tomorrow? I don't think it'd be weaker, but they wouldn't have the ability to kind of implement their depravity in many ways. So, okay, this is going to, my poop's going to look like the pride flag tomorrow and not the old pride flag, the one with the new trans stuff. This is going to be a situation. Um, let me see. What else? Is there anything else I want to talk about? Hi, Michael. You're Russian. Do not make yourself stand out advice regarding the left has been more useful than I thought. Hope this Aussie money is useful. Dude, your girlfriend's hot or I'm assuming that's your girlfriend. So uh, good work. And thank you. The money is useless, of course. It's got a koala on it. Considering all the unique and interesting foods you reviewed, what food and flavor would the Dr. Menace snack be? It's got to be bubble gum. So it'd probably be like hickory smoked bubble gum. Someone would know how to figure that out and make it taste good. Mm. The first red pill I had was in fourth grade. I failed the presidential fitness test due to lack of flexibility. I was the only kid in my class not to get a patch. How is that a red pill? That just sounds depressing. Good Lord. That is just sad. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Um, whew, should I go do some reading? Should I go do some reading? The book is coming along very well. We're over the halfway mark. I'm very, very excited. Tuesday, 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 Yanmi Park finally is going to be on your welcome. North Korea's most famous refugee. We had a very in-depth conversation. Um, love you, Chanel. I'm number one. They're number five. Why did you use that Sylvia Plath poem in the new right? And what do you think it means in the context of her larger poem? Well, what it means is pretty obvious for those who know the poem Daddy. And why I used it because it, it's going to be um, cause some brain sparks with people who are Sylvia is a kind of not a conservative figure by any means, part of the, you know, uh, humanities, the liberal arts. And for her to explicitly say every woman loves a fascist, they're not going to know how to take it. Um, you are loved. You are nice. Thank you. Oh, I love, I love dogs. They're so cute. They just want to be your friend. They just look at you like, what, you, what are we doing? They're waiting for instructions. It's so funny. And then the tail starts going back and forth. Um, so, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, good times. There's 800 of you here. I don't have anything to talk about. Sorry, guys. It's been a long week. I was just in Tampa last weekend. Yeah, it was great. It was really, really great. And I can't find my mask. So now I'm wondering about object permanence. I said this on Twitter. So anyway, I think I'm going to bounce. Wait, is there any chance we'll get a podcast episode? Someone just asked this earlier. I think it's a very good idea. So yeah, I think that we're, I think we'd want like, like six people, like let's make it epic. So we will see about that. How old were you when you decide you need to be self-employed? Very, very young, very young. I, I could not handle it at all. Maybe 20. Um, would you get Bill O'Reilly in your podcast? Sure. Of course. Thank you, Matt to fly. Okay. I think I'm going to head out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this um, nightmarish experience. And I will see you when I'm, I'm going to be in Austin for a full week, Sunday through Saturday. 
And um, maybe I'll do one of these while I'm out there debriefing um, some of the things I'm doing in Austin, which will be of great interest to literally all of you. Uh, that's all I can say at the moment. Um, yeah, uh, have a good night and talk soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Wait.